Okay, let's see. Um, I'm going to do some sketching and talking at the same time. What I usually sometimes do is just do these random shapes and then, you know, find a face or find a creature in there. Like I'm doing now. And it's kind of a warm-up exercise to me. Like finding finding fairy, basically. In um in random shapes. And it, it it's it's been a fun exercise for me because it takes away it takes away pressure and um you know sometimes you just don't know what to draw and um you let chance take over and to decide what you're gonna draw because basically you don't have a real clear idea of what's going to be on the page um because you you know the basic shape is uh something that's just put down blind um, I usually close my eyes when I do it and just let something appear on the page. And um, I go from there. I try to envision things. What can I see? Sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes it's just immediate, immediately there. And um, this is this is just a really good exercise, I think, to to train your brain to interpret shapes um, and I think it also allows me to play a little bit more and not be very precious about what I'm doing so I mean this is just a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds even of um, finding fairy and I think it like sometimes I'm surprised about what's happening and I really like something. I really do enjoy what's happening here and I can see something that's interesting and I could, you know, elaborate on this and this could become a bigger character. A story could t be told here. It's just a... Uh, a really nice way of um, warming up or cooling down. This is what I do when I don't really have an idea to sketch or something to work on. Like I am going to work on some client work. I cannot show you because it's NDA all of it. Um, but this this is just this is just super fun to. Um, warm up those muscles it's like any sport really warming up those muscles and uh doing exercises keeping it fun for yourself and i think it's a good exercise to try for yourself as well to see if this is something you feel comfortable doing and you know you can you can change your mind and even not finish things. I think I'm leaving her here for now. I think it's a she. I'm not, not even sure. Calling it a she. But as you know, fairies just decide what they want to be. Whenever. Whatever. So it's... Uh, they're very fluid that way. Anyway... I think I like her face. Okay. Okay, next shape. So, you, so that's going to be a different, difficult one. Oh, can't really see something. So that's also, you know, that also happens where you just really don't really know what will happen until you put that first line. Usually I just decide where the, the eye is going to be. And obviously this is going to be so wonky and so weird. So this is just, you know, you're going to see, like, doing this is just, it's 
just a way of training my brain to interpret, to see fairies, to find fairies. And you'll see that not everything works, but in the end you make things work. And I'm not like, I'm not here to um, create perfect sketches by all means. This is just an exercise, an exercise to train that brain to see shapes, to see stories, and to um, interpret shapes and lines. You know, turned out okay. I don't really know what to do with these lines. I might just, you know, decide to do that. Oh, he's kind of cute. Okay, well, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these. So this exercise, usually, I usually do that for about half an hour, maybe, because it, it's just, doesn't need to be more. It's just me uh, doing stuff and I don't finish things. So... Okay, well, that's the shape. As you can see, I'm, I'm just all over the page. I'm just going to fill this page, I think. It's not always easy because I'm using uh, my Grafke 500 pencil pen. This is a 500. I also have a thousand. These, these are made of, this is a plastic one and this is uh, a metal one. So this is more heavy. This is less, less heavy, obviously. Um, they're both 0 0.5, um, which is a lab I really enjoy. And this is quite soft, whereas this one, like, I, you know, you can keep track of what, what lead is in there, but I, I never, I never do that. I always forget to do it. And I think it's an HB in this, but I actually think it's a B because it's very soft. So, um, I start, to, I, there's still room here, um, which will, um, because my hand will be there, so I'll, I'll put a cloth on top to make sure it doesn't really rub off too much. Um, okay, yeah, that's that's a, that's sad when that happens. And usually I just give them, when I really like something and I want to keep it, make sure it's, it's safe. I usually get some of this stuff and spray it on top, but, you know, I can't do that when I'm here. Because it's like really nasty and you need to ventilate. But it's an archival varnish with UV protection uh, from Lasco. Um, I use this for pretty much everything. Um, and it's I they used to make a make make a spray that could not be it was reworkable, so you can work on top with um, with paint and stuff. I don't think this is it. But I really enjoy this one, the UV Protect 2. Let's go. That's a really good one. But don't use it when you are working in the area because it is so nasty. Um, okay, but I use that when I want to protect the area because you get smudges really easily. Like, see, there's there's a lot of smudge happening there. And it is fun to see creatures up here. This is this is me playing. This is me warming up for a day of drawing. And um, it just is such a really good way of um, training that brain, training everything basically for creature design just random shapes and if you i mean you can ask on somebody else to to draw you some random shapes and and like really don't don't think about it um as you see i can see i do not think about these shapes um and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't 
but that's okay. And it takes takes some takes a while to get used to this way of working, because it definitely relies heavily upon your powers of imagination, and um, you don't always see something in in shapes like this one. That's a really weird one. Do you know? So. You know, we'll go with it. And in this case, I'm just focusing on faces, really. Because that's, I mean, that's just easy. Um, sometimes I do full body. Like, I, I would just elaborate that one into a full body one. Could, could well happen. Um, but... I think these are just full body one, full, yeah, you know, just portraits. Sometimes a story pops up. So it's, um, it starts looking like one of those bull dogs. Uh, it is not, I think. It's wonderful to see how how something changes, how something evolves underneath in front of you. And that's, I think, like magic almost. And sometimes I will spend way more time on these. But like I said, this is, this is a pre-work workout. And I just want to warm up my muscles and warm up my thinking because I just just went to the gym, just had my <laughs> my real workout to get all my muscles in my back and in my arms um, trained. And now I'm ready to go back to work and I need to change from... Uh, change my mindset basically and I need to get into that work mode this is a really good way of uh, of getting there so in order to protect what's here and there's there's oil in my hands because I you know I showered and um, I'm keeping these safe and I really want to keep that one safe just because I really like it but I hate I hate to have empty spaces there so when will I learn to start at the top Probably never. Seem to have a knack for these really long, weird looking things like noses. Because I, I interpret that as a nose, I think. Let's see if I can see something else. I can see something else, yeah. Do something completely different. Hopefully. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is embarrassing. Uh, yeah, I mean. It's fun. It is so fun to do this. Bet you didn't know this was happening. I didn't either. <laughs> yeah. So normally when I work, I listen to uh, audiobooks, and because uh, I really enjoy that, and I rarely listen to fantasy actually, because um, it throws me off um, for some odd reason. I can't think fantasy when I'm listening to fantasy I don't know why that is I don't like his eye um so what I usually listen to is um for instance Stephen King and stuff like that so weird I know um but it works for me but obviously I have no music on now and no audiobooks because that would mean I would be in trouble with uh, certain laws because you can't do that unless you pay for it so it's really quiet now and I'm talking to myself, which feels really weird. Um, but talking.
talking to you, trying to explain what I'm doing when I really clearly don't have an idea what I'm doing. But I think this is a troll, some kind. As you can see, I I'm really not precious with my with my lines on anything. These are sketches. These are this is just information on on a body. You know, on, on shapes and what feels like it should be doing. And I'm running out of paper here because I really feel that this needs to be bigger. Maybe I should do that again someday, just to find his shape. I'm really looking forward to doing more trolls actually. There's so much fun trolls and giants. I've got so many ideas, my friends, so many ideas and so little time because, you know, there's some really cool stuff happening in the studio that I um, am not able to show you. Um, I'm hoping to keep my Patreon open or in the, at least uh, active, but it might happen that I have to um, postpone or at least... Um, Pause my uh, Patreon for a moment. Depends all on um, on how busy I'll be in the next couple of months. But things are happening, and it's super exciting. And I'm hoping to share it with you very soon. Okay. Well, <laughs> again, I, I wasn't looking at my paper, so. Uh, guess we're getting a weird monster kind of thingy. Yeah. I mean, how could you not see a weird grinny thing there? Right? I really am, I hope you, you try out this... Um, this sketching thing. Um, I've not shown anybody uh, how I do this or some because recently just discovered that I really enjoy doing this. Um, and I thought it would be fun for you to, to see it. So that's why I'm sharing it with you. But, um, nobody else at the moment. Reminds me a bit of, um, you know, those cards with uh, random uh, suggestions on it. And then you draw a couple of cards and it says um, dragon green. Uh, another card will say fire, earth or whatever. And then you have to create a creature um, or a, a piece based on, on those prompts. And it's similar to this, I think, but less... Um, no, it's not similar. It's completely different. This is like really, um, like you are really interpreting what is happening in front of you. And, uh, yeah. And, and the only goal for me here is basically fill this page and be done with it. That's, that's I really enjoy him. He's so cute. Um, so when I finish the page, when when I feel that a page is full, almost, I've got some room here. Then, um, then I'll be done and I'm ready for, for the day, I think, for day of work. Like a hat wearing goblin type of creature, I think. Not sure. Could be. We'll see. Do you have any any workouts like this? Do you do these kind of things? Well, how do you sketch if you do sketch? 
Um, and if you, like, I often get asked where my ideas come from and um, usually I don't have an idea or a clue what I'm drawing or going to draw before I even start. So this is, this is definitely um, me showing you that that is actually true. I, I do not know what will come to the page um, until I actually uh, begin paint or drawing. So I don't like this. Don't really like this. So I'm okay with that to rub that out and turn it into a different kind of hat. And now we have a little shroom, I think. I mean, don't be afraid to make, you know, there's always people that say you can't, you know, erase things. And I'm like, fuck that. Sure you can. Sorry for the profanity, but I mean, whatever works. I, I used to be very, oh man, if I, I thought if I used an eraser, I thought I wasn't a good artist because I needed a, an eraser. I needed to erase my mistakes or I was um, changing my mind or whatever. And it really messed with me because I really wanted to do it without an eraser and things like that. And I was like, why? Why would I let that bother me? I'm using the eraser as I see fit. Changing mine. But as you can see, I don't want, like, not too precious. But yeah, things get in the way. Who knew that that would happen? A precious little mushroom, dude. Not used to talking when I'm drawing. It's uh, it's not something I usually do. Only when things go sideways, I tend to um, curse and swear. This is not something people should hear. But only in my mind, really. Um, I, I don't believe in fighting my art, either. Like, there's people that will say we're fighting their pieces and stuff like that. And I, I don't believe in fighting my art. If I fight my art, there's, there's no cooperation. There's no... I believe that we are the piece and my art, we're both working to get a, a story across. And if I'm fighting that, I'm not telling the story correctly and I just need to step away. It's very important to me that this is a conversation, almost. And rather than fighting i'd rather have a really good conversation with my my art and then you know magic happens sometimes and sometimes it doesn't and sometimes it changes okay no idea i can't really elaborate on that much because there's no more room final Final piece. I, you know, ugh. yeah. It, you can see that I I tend to place the eyes or uh, things like that first if I I try to envision uh, something, a creature, a fairy. I envision eyes, I see eyes somewhere, I see what the shape is going to be, and then this happens. It's a good starting point, the eyes. Yeah, I mean, it, that's a focal point of a portrait anyway, so but the eyes don't have any emotion or aren't set right, it's just going to feel off anyway. 
so yeah got those eyes in Envision this being like a horned. Yeah. As you can see, I, I really am not. Just looking for shapes and interesting features and stuff like that. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And I'm okay with that. So in one of these, uh, in a page like this, you'll have creatures that I, nah, you know, I think I couldn't, they're really not that good or they don't really tell the story or can't really use them. And then there's chaps like that that make me, um, make me grin and make me happy. And those are the chaps that make for a very successful um, sketch session. Yeah, I mean, not perfect, but good enough. So, you've seen me do this in about half an hour. See, it takes me half an hour to, to fill a page. Not all of them are perfect. And that's perfectly fine. I could still have some more here. I'll show you some more. I did. Oh, I did. So I did that one. Yeah, it ripped. I painted something for someone and took it out. And then this page. This all starts like, like this. All starts with a, a really weird shape. These as well. Slightly smaller. Really like that one, really like that one, like that one. I really like that face, that one as well. And I'll just, you know, I'll <laughs> keep going. I'll just, I could, you know, I'll, I'll go in here and, and just figure out what I really like and can use. And that's going to happen with this as well. I'll give this a thought. And um, I, I think I need to figure out who she is. Maybe even figure out who he is. That one. We'll see. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'll, maybe I'll do this more often. If you'd like to see this more often. Just let me know in the comments. And uh, until next time.